The biggest surprises from the NBA's Orlando bubble so far. Subscribe to Sports Mafia for more videos. Gary Trent Jr. Between January 18th and February 9th, the 2018 second round pick from Duke averaged 14.6 points per game in 11 contests. The breakout was exactly what the struggling Portland Trailblazers were looking for, and it has followed them into the seeding tournament. Trent has emerged as the Blazers' fourth leading scorer with 18 points per contest in six seeding games. He's been sizzling from deep, shooting a remarkable 56.9% on 8.5 deep attempts per game. He hasn't shrunk from the moment or his competition, and cameras even caught him tossing barbs back and forth with 2019 Blazers nemesis Paul George. The path is open for the Blazers given the slippages of the Memphis Grizzlies. If Trent can continue his impressive play, they may very well meet the Los Angeles Lakers in the first round of the playoffs. Michael Porter Jr. The upside was always there for Michael Porter Jr. At 6'10", with a smooth glide, effortless handle, and silky jumper, the Denver Nuggets wildcard can move the needle for Nikola Jokic. Over the past four games, that upside has been on full display against an intimidating array of opponents in the Oklahoma City Thunder, San Antonio Spurs, Portland Trailblazers, and Utah Jazz. Down Gary Harris, Will Barton, and Jamal Murray, Porter finally emerged in the Nuggets lineup. The beneficiary of an increased workload at 39.8 minutes per game in his last four matchups, he's led Denver in scoring, averaging 29.3 points and 12.5 rebounds, while shooting 46.7% from three. At 22 years old, Porter fits the mold of a shooter who can play the three and four, traits that seem tailor-made to fit seamlessly alongside Jokic. In five games since the NBA restarted, Porter is 11th in scoring and the only player shooting above 40% from three while collecting 25 points and 10 rebounds per contest. It's time to move him into the starting lineup permanently. Phoenix Suns at 6-0, they are the only unblemished team remaining in the bubble, boasting impressive victories over the Dallas Mavericks, Los Angeles Clippers, and Miami Heat. Devin Booker has been simply sensational, averaging 29.4 points on 50% shooting from the field, including a game winner at the buzzer over Paul George. DeAndre Ayton has been another bright spot with 18.2 points, 9.8 rebounds, and 1.2 blocks per game while shooting 56.2% from the field and 42.9% from three. Most eye-catching, though, has been his improved play on the defensive end. Through five games, he has shown fluidity in his movement on the perimeter and the recognition necessary to police the paint while denying penetration in the pick and roll. The Suns were thought of as honorary guests when play resumed. Now, they have to be considered a legitimate candidate for the play-in tournament. San Antonio Spurs It's been 22 seasons since head coach Greg Popovich and the San Antonio Spurs sat at home come playoff time, and this season promised to break the streak. On June 8th, the team announced that Marcus Aldridge would miss the rest of the campaign after undergoing shoulder surgery. However, the chronically overachieving franchise hasn't gone down quietly, winning 4 of 6 thus far behind the breakout performances of Derek White and Keldon Johnson. Known for his prowess as a backcourt stopper, White has flourished on the offensive end in Florida, trailing only DeMar DeRozan for the team's scoring lead. He has also added 4.8 assists and 4.7 rebounds per contest, while shooting 43.8% from 3. Far more surprising has been Johnson, the rookie who's now shooting 63.6% from three after being mostly inactive through February. The 29th overall pick in the 2019 draft has ideal size, high basketball IQ, and a relentless motor that often finds him gobbling up deflections and tormenting opponents. The Spurs are deadlocked in the race for the 8th seed in the Western Conference playoffs, but with the improved play of their young pieces plus the unconventionality of their most widely used 5-man lineups, they may keep the streak alive. Toronto Raptors In the bubble, they've been dominant, defeating the Lakers by 15 on reopening night and following that with victories over the Miami Heat and Orlando Magic. Their lone blemish coming at the hands of the Boston Celtics took place on a night during which only Van Vliet logged more than 30 minutes on the court. They're stacked defensively at every level. Larry and Van Vliet are relentless, if undersized. Supporting them is an endless array of limbs and muscle in Anunoby, Norman Powell, and Rondé Hollis Jefferson. Should teams break that barrier, they are then met by Siakam, Gasol, and Ibaka in the front court. Worse still, head coach Nick Nurse's wide variety of zones and defenders capable of matching 1-5 to make predicting assignments problematic for opposing offenses. Whether they can score enough to keep pace with the other contenders for the Larry O'Brien Trophy is still up in the air. Still, the Raptors' performance has to earn them a place in the conversation. TJ Warren Perhaps the most popular of the storylines coming out of Florida has been the play of Indiana Pacers forward TJ Warren. 
With four 30-point outings, including his 53-point showcase against the Philadelphia 76ers, Warren is on a different planet right now, as teammate Victor Oladipo said. Warren's workload has increased in part due to the absences of all-star DeMontis Sabanis and Jeremy Lamb. In their absence, Warren is taking 8.6 more shots per game and converting at the ridiculous rate of 60.5% from the field and 556 from 3 on 7.2 deep attempts per game. His 34.8 points per contest leads the NBA in the bubble. These aren't empty calories. In the final 90 seconds of a Pacers win over the Los Angeles Lakers, Warren went head-to-head -head with Anthony Davis and LeBron James, scoring 7 of the Pacers' last 9 points. The Pacers may not be a favorite to challenge in the Eastern Conference, but Warren's unexpected surge could change if that continues. That's it for today's Sports Mafia video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more Sports Mafia content, click the circle subscribe button so you never miss a single video. Hope you enjoyed!